I think that people have misconceptions about um, what someone with autism is able to do, what their, what, how their brain works, um, what, their, what they can accomplish. Um, there are still a lot of misconceptions out there um, among society, but also in, within the school system. And um, I think that the more and more prevalent autism becomes in our society, the word spreads that, hey, this person has autism, but they might not fit these five facts that I know about autism. Erica is an overall really happy-go-lucky person with a big personality um, who loves to joke around, um, who desires um, relationships with people. Um, as a person with autism, um, she experiences some communication barriers. However, um, in other aspects of her life, I think her autism helps her really excel at a lot that she does because it, she, she the stimulation I think she gets from a lot of activities and her ability to focus for um, quite a while on one specific task um, really just overall makes her a really productive and, and happier person. I'd been working on a dance with one of my hip hop classes and I thought I would just try it and see how it went and she learned it faster than most of my uh, general ed kids had. She picked it up no problem. I mean it's, it's really kind of amazing. <laughs> so um, we try to dance at least at least 10 minutes or so every day. Dancing for Erica is a way for her to express herself and to communicate in a way that other people understand. Erica, do you like to dance? Yes. Do you have friends in dance? Friends in dance. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like you're a really good dancer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does it make you feel proud of yourself? Mm-hmm. This is fun! <laughs> My job in playing some is cut eye, water can, wine flowers, C clean with broom. The plant I like best is yellow flowers. My favorite part of plant science is take off dry flowers. What Erica likes best about plant science is that it's so hands-on. Um, we come to the greenhouse every day. Physically manipulating items really is, is stimulatory to her. So because of that, that stimulation, it, it enhances the class for her and the experience. The more anyone surrounds themselves with, you know, nature, growing things, I think it, it's good for them. And Erica really seems to care about what's going on with the plants. Any kind of repetitive job for uh, for a uh, person with autism is is a great is a great job to have because they're going to do the same thing over and over again, which gives them more independence where they don't have to have somebody constantly on them saying, "Oh, you need to do this, you need to do that." They already know what to do. I think it is a great training program because um, what it happens is once she's graduated from this program, she'll go out in the community and get a job out in the community, and she'll know how to conduct herself and how to work on different various jobs independently. Erica is, is a very unique employee. She learned everything, how to run the machines, how to deliver, how to pick up in one day. And I thought that was, wow, I, it was remarkable, it was refreshing. <laughs> I think that what, one of the major things I'd like people to know about Erica is that um, even though she might not be able to, com she's not always able to communicate um, exactly how she's feeling or maybe um, how much she's absorbed um, from maybe what you've said to her or something she's read, um, that there's a lot going on in her brain that if we find ways to tap, then we'll get a better idea of what she is capable of and how much she can achieve. I guess don't pigeonhole her or don't marginalize her because she is able to do so much if we 
help her find the means to do those things. Erica is a fantastic student to work with, person to know in general. She's fun, she's funny, she, um, well, she works hard, she, she makes the day more enjoyable for me, I know that, and in her future, great things lie. I, I am a great dancer.